Call me, yeah, 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 Hello, hi, hola! Welcome back to my channel, guys. So, I'm here with something new ish, kinda. Anyway, so 3 in 1, get ready with me for date night. So, first of all, I'm gonna start with the right at the beginning. The process is sticking this goddamn stocking cap on top of my head, cut some holes in it. Um, I'm gonna do the bald cap method basically. I've done it a few times, um, still need some more practice, but anyway. Gonna use got to be glued spray to make sure it sticks to my skin. Um, it was a bit white because I put hair grease on my hair just before I was ready to put this cap on, but um, it won't make no difference basically. Once I've done it on both sides, I'm gonna use my scissors and cut off all the excess stocking cap that I don't need. Um, some parts you're gonna see at the beginning, right at the front, is not see through anymore it's basically clear you can leave that or you can use got to be glue spray and spray a little bit on it at a time and blow dry it to make sure it's stuck back down but for me even though I'm not professional I don't think it matters so once that is finished you're gonna use your wig and check to see if the stocking cap is Far back enough as you can see mine isn't because this wig is a little bit too small for my big head so I'm gonna have to basically peel back the goddamn thing and make sure that you can't see that stuff in cat just be careful I'm sure I'll cut off some of my hair but ah, he will grow back now um once that is done you're gonna use your foundation and I've used a sponge or brush whatever you prefer and just a dab the makeup on top of your skin once that's done clean it up with some rubbing alcohol and then Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit because I'm sure you guys have seen how I install my hair before or there's loads of videos out there but um, I'm gonna try not to talk too much Hello, it's me again. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Anyway, um, using bold hold active, use three layers. Um, I do my hair in sections to make it easier for me. Start with the middle first as one section and the sides, I do them at the same time. Hey guys, just a little side note, um, I didn't stick on the other side, which you can see is still clearly white until after it was clear. So the packaging says, 
I only stick your hair down when it's all fully clear so that's what I did so even though it looks like I've stuck it all in one go I did a I waited and I took my time obviously the videos edited and whatnot um yeah so that's it <laughs> Guys, you see this triple barrel waver? I've been waiting forever to get it. Now I've got it. Please know it is super duper hot, so please be careful when you're using it. Um, obviously, when I started the video, you can see the curls are already done. I put it on my mannequin head and did it beforehand because I was not going to burn up my skin for a video. But um, it's easier on a mannequin head. If you can get help, get help. If not, just take your time and don't blame me. Enjoy and good luck. makeup time um i haven't changed much to my makeup i just got some new products from elf so as you can see i basically got the elf primer hydrating primer i didn't want to be too matte anymore and i got their satin finish foundation which i use in this video mix of nyx and i got their mist setting spray it comes in the black bottle i forgot to add it in the clip but yeah, I'm going to try some of it with my eyeshadow. I'm trying to ting, okay? <laughs> I think it came out quite good, if I'm honest. But um, this palette is Revolution. The Violet palette. I don't know if they still make it, but I've had it for a while. This um, palette is also Revolution that you see on the screen. Revolution Pro. I don't remember the name of it. But um, basically, all eyeshadow is Revolution. And I just winged it. The lip pencil is MUA in the colour Chestnut, I think it was. Am I making that up? I don't know. It's a brown colour MUA from Superdrug. And then this lip paint matte thingy is from L'Oreal. It lasts literally a lot. A lot? <laughs> Most of the day, it basically lasts that thing. It's quite good. I have it in other colours as well. I recommend that lippy thing in the jig. Right, so the first outfit is dress up time. 
Um, I got these Joni jeans from Topshop. I know they're washed out, but mind your business and let's move on. Um, this top is from Primark. It is a bodysuit. I think they just brought these out. I got it in black and white. Then I basically paired it with my black Tims. Um, I'm just going to call this outfit Come Run Errands of Bay. You know, go for a little light Nando's, a little dessert or whatever. That's what I'm calling this outfit. So outfit number two. These leather pleather joggers are from Zara. The bodysuit is also from Zara. Um yeah. <laughs> these trainers are these Nike Zoom TNs, which I wasn't feeling at first, but I freaking love them now. As you can see, I'm feeling myself. This is the outfit I'm going to call he's taking me to go do crazy golf for arcade something a little bit sporty you know something cute cute Outfit number three. So this utility jumpsuit is from Primark. These boots are from Zara, which was in my last haul, Zara haul. Um, this outfit, I'm gonna call it. You want to take me to the cinema, but I want to show him, remind him, you know, what he's got here. You know, grab some drinks and you know, enjoy life. That's the type of outfit I'm calling this one. The shit, the trousers, the jumpsuit is too tight. So I put my shoes on. This whole outfit is done out here. I literally feel like I've saved my favourite to last. This is a leather jacket from Zara, but I wanted to wear it as a leather dress. Um, and I then paired it with my new boots from Aldo. These over the knee leather boots. Um, you know, I wanted to give a little matrix sexy vibe. So this outfit, I'm going to call it. He's taking me to some nice nice restaurant, or we're gonna go to a rooftop bar. Oh, I don't know, get some seashire, you know, might meet the friends, might go to you know, a night out, this type of, am I ready to a night out? No man, I'd be sweating, but anyway, this is the sexy, sexy vibe. Mm -hmm. 